Three beat baseball players from the St. Louis area will represent the United States in a game this fall. Today, it was announced that Gateway Archers players Kyle Bora, Ethan Johnston, and Rich Kressel have been named as top 20 All-Stars. But the story behind this team and these players is even more incredible. That's tonight's Sports Plus Spotlight Story. Set. Ready. Pitch. Imagine playing baseball or softball without sight. Typically, the first thing we are taught about baseball is see the ball, hit the ball, look the ball into the glove, all those things, those visual cues. A game only guided by sound from the ball there and from the pitcher. Set, ready, pitch. Mind's Eye is a company that helps translate vision into audio through multiple programs, and they're making it possible for visually impaired athletes to do just that in St. Louis. So we do that through three programs, our audio description program, our radio reading service, and Beat Baseball. Their Beatball program runs through a team called the Gateway Archers. We wear this blindfold to make sure, you know, a lot of us have different visual acuity, so we put this on so everybody's in the same equal playing field. A roster of highly talented, visually impaired athletes based in the St. Louis area who compete across the country. The pitcher and the batter are on the same team. So he's not trying to throw you a Adam Wayne or Uncle Charlie. He's trying to throw you a best pitch in your wheelhouse. When the ball is hit, the hitter runs to one of two bases based on noise. So this is how the bases work. There's a first and third base. This little switch box holds two cables that connect and operates with a nine volt battery. So this is third base, that is first base. Players in the field aim to make the play before the runner tackles the base. Each player on the team has a unique journey that's led them to joining the archers. Oakville native Kyle Bora was born visually impaired. Growing up here in St. Louis, I'm a big Cardinals fan, always wanted to play baseball, but um, because of my visual impairment, never got the opportunity and this is my opportunity to finally participate in team sports. Ethan Johnston doesn't live in Missouri anymore, but flew in from Colorado to have the chance to play with the Archers. Being a huge Cardinal fan and uh, Jason and his uh, Gateway Archers reached out and, you know, you're from Missouri, do you want to represent Missouri? I said, heck yeah. And his journey to that invite was unlike any other. I was adopted in 1997 from Ethiopia. I was, uh, intentionally blinded to be used as a beggar and uh, my, uh, my parents selected me 11th pick out of, they had 21 kids but they picked me number 11. After industry's two years I got rescued and put in an orphanage and uh, I'm here now. An experience some would consider a tragedy but one that Ethan calls a blessing. Most people think about something happening to, happened to them like that in life would shut down. Ethan's the exact opposite. He's so positive upbeat but this sport is kind of where you get to the release, of being a true athlete. Now fast forward 16 years later, and Ethan is one of the top ranked players nationally in beat baseball. There's a power rankings, there's a player index list. Ethan's using that top 20, top 10 player index, so he's been playing the sport for 13 years and has excelled at a very high level at it, but also excelled at being a very high level human being. With teammates who have become family. And you know, we all, Love to compete, talk trash, but at the end of the day, it's like a huge family reunion. I think it's huge for the confidence of blind people. Which a lot of blind people don't get to have that type of camaraderie and experience um, and to play baseball and have fun and compete. Because at the end of the day, the archers have one thing in mind, like any team. Hopefully bring Gateway Archers a you know, championship, that's the end goal for sure.